Buongiorno e benvenuti a un altro video di Yerran GP. Oggi volo i battaglie storici uh, con degli aerei italiani. Mamma mia! Uh, excuse me, any Italian subscriber in Italian who sees this, excuse me for my crappy uh, Italian. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, tonight, uh, today we are going to see something slightly different because we, because we are going to try the historical battles with the... Oh, I'm going to say this, the crappy, <laughs> because they are kind of crappy Italian planes. Um, I, I just wanted some random fun today and try the very low level, most low level Italian planes um, the Germans have. Uh, and actually had a lot of fun doing so, and you're going to see that, and you're going to see some very epic moments. Um, Italian planes, well, you're going to see me flying the CR-42, which is the plane we are, you are seeing right now. You're going to see me flying the G-15, uh, G-50, uh, Series 7. You're going to see me flying the MC-200, so level 1s, 1, 2 and 3s. Um, from all of them, the one I think is the best to train historical battles with mouse and and, and keyboard uh, is the MC200. And the CR41 has some problems with mouse aim because it doesn't have enough rudder authority. And while turning, it steadily tries to put the nose up all the time. You're going to notice it uh, as I'm trying to get this Spitfire. Um, the MC200 has pretty good maneuverability and has a lot of rounds for the for the guns. And the G50, which in my opinion is the best of the three as a plane, and the problem it has is that it only has uh, less than 400 rounds per per uh, in total. So that's uh, less than 200 rounds per per machine gun. And they are 50 cals. They are not very hard hitting. So you are going to be having a lot of problems with with ammo. Well, you see me here. I'm turning a Spitfire Mark One, and uh, um, while he's turning, you you have seen the, the plane steadily tries to pull the nose up, and it's very hard to mm, follow a flat turn because the plane steadily tries to push the nose the nose up. Uh, this is a very good turning plane, but. The problem is, see, it doesn't keep the roll very well and when you try to turn it you are going to see the nose goes up, the nose goes up, it's very hard to adjust for firing on, on a turning target. But the, this guy is not going away, he's not moving away, he's maneuvering and he's not accelerating to top of speed, which is his only option to shake me off. Uh, now I guess he has good the throttle but... <laughs> That that's not working against uh, against a much better turning slower plane. See, the the thing doesn't maneuver very well with mouse aim. Uh, I guess with joystick this thing will be a, a, a dream to to turn, but with mouse is not the best thing to try. Um, well, uh, why I'm putting this up? Well, because well, Italian planes have a very bad reputation, uh, at least in arcade, and for a good reason. They lack firepower, they are not that great. They are pretty good um, turners, but the problem is that in arcade battles you are going to be pitted against B-planes and Chaikas and things like those, which outturn this, uh, this thing uh, a lot and outturn other planes. Uh, the MC200 is outturned by the Zero, um, etc, etc, etc. But in historical battles, when for instance, the British only the Spitfire drivers only know how to do one thing, 90% of them, which is how to turn. Hey, I got a Spitfire and a CR42. <laughs> um, see a Fury there and I go for him. Um, in historical battles, I was telling you, most people uh, with um, mm, uh, British uh, planes try to turn a lot because. Well, I mean, it's a valid tactic uh, against BF 109s, Focus 109s, but not against Italian planes. And you are pitted against um, usually higher level planes that don't turn as well as you do. So you can actually have a lot of fun in, in these things. You are going to, to see, well, you can see I'm, I'm having fun in this one. I have bagged a uh, Spitfire 1 <laughs> in a B plane. And. Um, 
yeah the battle is going to be over very very fast um drawbacks of these planes well they don't have enough an engine power they don't um, climb very well they don't uh, maneuver well in the vertical because they lose the speed very fast and uh, in a straight run you're not going to catch with anyone basically because you are very slow um advantages they turn very well they turn very well and they actually turn very well uh, the firepower is a bit lacking, only a couple of 50 cals, and you need a lot of rounds in the enemy to bring one enemy down. But even even so, it can get the job done. There you go. Battle won and one kill to make credit. Let's see the results and move on to another battle. <coughs> so this time with a G50. Uh, which is the level 2, uh, it's a series 7, it's a level 2 um, Italian plane, the Germans get in the tr in those 3 I spot an Imrod, one thing about these planes, uh, if you spot uh, a B plane or a uh, low level tier, go for them first First of all because, of course, mm, B planes are going to outturn you And second of all because those planes tend to be mm, quite weak so your 50 cars are going to kill them very fast and the the weaponry is enough for them so i'm diving on that nimrod this plane really really handles very well but the problem is it has very few rounds less than 200 per per machine gun i miss quite a lot of shots go up do a lag roll come back on him And this time I'm going to try to ensure my, my hits. Because with this plane you must, you don't have any other option, you must have a room, um, trigger discipline. You can't spam, because two, two less than 200 runs per, per gun is not enough. There you go, I get enough lead. Good engine a bit to keep on his 6. Rough laps, just in case, but he's already going down. So I got a kill. See a Wellington there. Don't waste your ammo on twin engine planes, if possible, because they are going to stand a lot of damage and it's useless. But look at this Wellington, and this is one of the things I, I think, point out. Um, gunners right now are too powerful, AA gunners. Uh, this guy actually is trying to dogfight me and let the gunners do all the job. Uh, I do think the gunners are now after 1.29 a little bit too accurate uh, not a lot not a lot but somehow they should be slightly toned down but well uh the wellington is left behind there's a huge football going down and going up there and um, let me tell you this this is a very 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 tough uh, game to to see and a very it was a very tough uh, thing to swallow for me and you're going to see why um, in a few minutes it's actually a pretty long video and really it's a heartbreaker right now here in the middle of a football I'm going for the fury I see I'm not going to get a proper a proper shot so I simply don't shoot trigger discipline the guy does go uh, against the trees so he's dead which is cool fighter there that's a plane I don't really have to be forced to attack because I know 250 cars are not enough he's coming for me so I am to one side so with his pass he's head on and here you see I'm trying to do a high yo-yo but the plane loses speed so fast and so quickly in the vertical and that's because it simply doesn't have the power these planes have uh, very very good aerodynamics um, the fuselage and the structure was very well designed but and they didn't have the power they had maybe 850 um, uh, horsepower engines and they simply didn't have the power they didn't accelerate very well they didn't climb very well and once they they went in the vertical <coughs> see that again I'm losing speed so quickly so from now on I know that high yo-yos are going to be just an option for 
when I'm trying to trail someone. If someone is in my six, I can't use that maneuver because I'm going to be super slow at the top of it. So those are two boo, boo fighters. One second ago we were four versus two. Well, four versus three because the Nimrod was around. Now we are two versus two. And the boo fighters, God. I know they fixed the flight models, but they turn so damn well. It's not even funny. I mean, well. So it's two of us. Um, poor Henkel 51 and myself versus those guys. I put a, a couple of runs on the on the boo fighter. Uh, well, actually, a couple of good burst, but as good as nothing. And yeah, I'm trying to win a winning shot, but I don't ha I don't have enough ammo. I only have 50 rounds left. I'm trying to win another shot, but I'm out of ammo. I don't have any ammo, and I can't run away. If I try to run away, I'm going to die because these guys are going to catch up with me and kill me. Um, and right now I'm watching what's going to happen. Like Henkel for uh, 51 has just dead, and I'm alone. Alone versus two boo fighters. So I start calling for help. I see friendlies uh, up there. If just one of them comes, we are going to nail these guys. But no one comes. Uh, so I'm left alone to deal with a boo fighter and a boo fighter. Two versus one. And of course, one versus one, this thing can outturn them. But the problem is that while you are trying to win some of them six, the other is going to win yours. So you have to. Maneuver for both of them at the same time in a plane that's hugely inferior. This plane uh, doesn't accelerate as the Bull Fighter. Um, the Bull Fighter turns really well for a plane that size. I'm not going to enter whether that's accurate or not. So I'm just basically turning towards them so I can get a give him them a high deflection shot this time. They are going to come for the head on. And another boo fighter doesn't roll very well and has limited the uh, rudder authority, so they are going to have problems. I mean, for me, in high deflection shots uh, with high closer rates. Uh, so if I try to aim towards them, look at that. One of them crashed. Uh, basically, that's my kill, by the way. Um, see, I'm going low, still, he gets a hit on me. Very, very, very small hit, but my engine is damaged, my fuselage is, da is damaged, and I know I'm alone versus that guy. And I don't have ammo. All I can do is to keep on trying to turn him and preventing him to shoot until help arrives. But no one cares. I'm asking for help, no one cares. I see a buff over there, I don't care, it's a bomber. That thing doesn't really worry me. But what worries me is that I'm losing engine power. The buffer is there, has done a pass, he's not coming for me, he's not trying to dogfight the bomber, which is good for me. The buff fighter has no clue, I don't have uh, ammo left, so he's trying to move away, which is a smart thing to do, by the way. And I'm still asking for help, because I can't do s I can't do anything versus that guy, I don't have ammo. And he's moving away, and sooner or later he's going to have enough separation to zoom away, reverse on me and come for a head on, and I don't... <laughs> I mean, uh, even if I had ammunition, I don't want to face those 20mm uh, cannons. So I'm asking for help actively in chat, and no one is coming. Uh, there, there I spot the fighter is starting to go up. That's a perfect hint that he's aiming for um, coming back and uh, come for a head on. I see the buffer down there, uh, back there, he's not a concern for me at all. My concern is that my engine is red, my plane is very slow, the buff fighter is coming for the head on, and I'm alone. Someone says he's coming, no he's not, you're going to see that. He wasn't. Um, buff fighter comes, I turn and I spot, oh shit. That's the worst new I could have right now. I'm fighting a losing battle versus a bull fighter simply for by the fact that I'm losing engine power and I don't have ammo. But also, a speed fire is joining the fan. 
It's going to be a 2 vs 1 again, and the speedfire turns much better than the fighter. And maneuvers much better than the fighter. So, yeah. All I can do is to try to delay the inevitable. But still, those two, that, that will fighter, those two fighters are, I think, level 5. I think they are uh, Mark 6. And I'm in a level 3 plane. And I have gotten one of them to crash, which should have been a kill of me, a maneuvering kill. But I didn't get him. Speedfire is coming very close. The engine is barely producing any power to keep my speed up. I avoid the head-on. And try to maneuver. I know I can't go in the vertical, but I try at least to keep some altitude so I can maneuver. The Speedfire is winning my 6 very fast. I can't maneuver because I don't have the power. I don't have the engine power. He gets some hits. I try to reverse on him, but the Boo Fighter is also coming. So I have to brace and avoid his head on pass, which I do. And still no one coming. Just one, just one of them, and we would have been able to um, at least shoot one of these guys down. But no one came. Speedfire is coming, try to adjust, try to avoid the head on. He gets some hits. The engine is deep red now. I'm desperately asking for help, but no one comes. <sighs> that goes to prove that in historical battles people are not any better than in arcade. It's still a free for all with randoms that are not never going to help you out. <sighs> Spitfire is basically outturning me and trying to shake him off and trying to keep the Boo Fighters passes at a bay. But I don't have the power. The engine is deep right now. I'm any maneuver I do is causing me uh, a lot of uh, engine lo uh, speed loss. But I'm still un avoiding them, desperately avoiding them. But in the end, there's nothing I can do. So yeah, that was a very disheartening <laughs> battle because I do I did very well. I'm super proud of how I flew that battle and how I kept m my plane up until I simply couldn't keep it up anymore. Um, if only one guy had come, I would have been able to survive probably, and the guy who had come probably would have gotten a couple kills, but no one came. But well, we are going to see yet another battle. This time with the level two, uh, level 3, sorry, um, MC200. And the first thing I'm doing is to focus on that uh, F2A. This plane has, I think, slightly worse maneuverability, uh, maneuverability than the G50. But it has almost 800 rounds, which is double. And that helps a lot in historical battles. Because it allows you to be a little more trigger happy. And, <laughs> well, you won't find yourself in a situation like the one I found myself in. As long, of course, it still needs... Um, trigger discipline and not abusing it but well I mean that um, uh, Buffalo 6 those things are so broken for real uh, they they are so broken as the LAFN was in, in this day for the tier of course they simply don't lose energy and they have an insane acceleration and, and clean rate for what the actual plane had so expect that plane to be adjusted in the future and uh, fix it because he's broken right now. Look at that, he's, <laughs> he's just doing whatever he wants. He's running away like there's no tomorrow. And that plane should be the equal of this one. The, F and the Buffaloes were no better than MC 200s. But whatever. I know by now I'm not getting him because unless he starts turning with me and gives me good shots, uh, he's, he, if he's not an idiot, He's not going to do that. So, well, I'm just <laughs> going around <laughs> trying to give him worried at least. Um, one lesson to learn about Italian planes. Have no mercy. If anything, anything uh, you can kill is near you and you can uh, catch up with it, do so. Um, this you are going to to uh, understand a little bit later. Right now I see a P63A, which is a level 9 plane, and even a level 3. 
He's trying to run away. But no, he's not. Default Gore um, puts an engine fire on him. I'm holding fire because I don't want to steal a kill. If the fire kills the guy, it's okay. Uh, but there you go. The fire gets taken out. So that guy is a free kill for me. I'm free to kill him. So I'm closing very fast. Probably that guy has a damage engine, so I'm able to to close on him and get some hits. And that guy has no chance right now. If he doesn't run away, if he doesn't have the speed to run away, um, this Italian plane turns much, much, much better. So I simply give chase. Note that I'm holding a lot of um, trigger discipline here. Short bars, only high uh, percentage shots that I miss a bit, but I correct. And um, just be patient, be patient, because if you start uh, spamming the, the trigger in this plane, you're going to run out of ammo very, very fast. So, well, that guy is going to go down. The only question is who's going to kill him? Well, I did. So I got a level 9 plane in a level 3 one. Not bad at all. Uh, I spot a Kia I-61 there, but it's too close to the enemy, <coughs> enemy airfield and aircraft guns are a serious concern. So yes, I'm going that way, but I'm like, uh, no, fact is I don't want to get the uh, problems with that. I also spot and the oh look the buffalo or little OP friend <laughs> but he's OP I'm not going to catch up with him <laughs> so I'm s spot around look for more obvious targets but he's coming back to base which makes me think that he's either damaged or he has no ammo and here comes in action what I told you before hold no mercy you I you are in a level three crappy because this plane is crappy. I mean, it can turn very well, but other than that, it's crap plane. You're in a crappy level three plane going against guys who are in much higher tier planes or in much better planes because even at the same tier, the Hurricane is better, the Hurricane Mark II is better, the Buffaloes are broken, the Hayabusa <laughs> turns <laughs> in a dime. Uh, uh, the LIG-3 has 20mm cannons. I mean, this is the worst level 3 plane you can be aboard in an historical battle. So hold no mercy. If you had to go to the field and bulls a guy and strafe him on the field, do so! Which I'm doing right now. Yeah, you are OP in the air, but you are not in the strip. You are dead. <laughs> and now it's time to get the hell out of here because before the intercraft guns really mess me up. I'm under such heavy fire. And I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Turning around, wiggling a lot, trying to take the, the aircraft gun um, at any costs. I win some separation from the airfield before, before those guys rape me, because if I stay al around, they are going to shoot me down. So I just. Oh, some. I think I'm calm right now. They are. No, 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 I'm not calm. They are still shooting. <laughs> so. Still keep on wiggling, keep on trying to avoid the fire, taking the plane a bit. Oh, and I survived. So, two kills. Not bad for this crappy plane. Yeah, one of them was a strife on the airfield. Whatever, this is a level 3 crappy plane. Everything is allowed in this plane. Everything. Just the only thing I don't do in this plane is kill stealing. If a guy is going to kill an enemy, I'm not going to shoot that thing down. You shoot that with the air cobra, I held fire until that fire extinguished and the plane was still going on. So the only thing you I'm not allowed to do in this plane is to um, steal kills from already dying planes. But other than that, everything goes. Everything, the most dirty trick you can put on an enemy, if you have to go to the street to strap him down, do so. Even if you die, who cares? This plane is probably the worst plane in your team. And if you back an enemy plane, it's going to be a better plane than yours. So you're winning. <laughs> I see a 109 there. 
but he's heavily engaged. It's two versus one, and it's very very far. Still, I put my nose there, just in case. You never know. He might be able to catch up. And indeed, the guy is coming my way. Uh, <laughs> so well, why not? Let's have more fun. This these things are very fun. I mean, the Italian planes. The low level tiers are very fun. Oh, P40! That's a much better target. That's a much better target for this plane. Still, I'm going for the VF109. But you are going to see that soon I'm going to change my my objective because the P40 is much closer and he's disengaged. So I'm going to fo go, go for that guy. No, actually, the P40 has a 109 in front of him, but I didn't see it until now. Uh, and also, oh, he has a smoking engine. Oh, 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 dear lord. This is going to be so satisfying. He can't run away. He can't outmaneuver this plane because that plane doesn't turn as well. And much less with a, with a damage engine. The BF-109 totally derps it out and crashes. And <laughs> I'm alone to pick this guy. And he's much slower, he doesn't have the, have the engine power to run away nor maneuver. BF109 is coming, a G2. But he's going to mess his approach and he's going to get no, no hits. And yeah, baby, yeah, you are mine now. This is what I told you, no tricks, no mercy. If the guy is, has a dying engine, take advantage of it. Don't feel sorry. I have very few bullets left. But... He's going down, he crosses against the tree <laughs> and I score the kill. <laughs> Three kills in this shitty plane in a game with uh, BF109 Fs, uh, G2s, Aira Cobras. <laughs> oh dear lord, yes, you can have a lot of fun with this plane. So, yeah, that's going to be everything for this game. Look at that! <laughs> Fighter bulletproof <laughs> in a level three Italian plane. Uh, give them a try. They are, they are very fun and they are very good to do your first steps in, in historical battles. Hope you enjoyed, guys, and see you later.